Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a brave soul who traveled North America with a complete stranger on the Lifetime series, Love at First Sight. Let's take a look. Because, I mean, I feel like you could really make anything work. But it's, it's literally both people, like, compromising. I mean, I think that's true. It's why so many people are in terrible relationships, in my opinion, because they're, they're holding on to something that I think they have all the signs to leave. So I don't cheat. I just dump you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I move on when I'm ready. Sheesh. You know? Please give a big sister circle welcome to Stephanie Johnson. Yay! Yay! Hello, thank you. <sighs> hey, girl, hey. Hello, good morning. Thanks for having me. Thank you for so coming. Much. How are you, dear? Thank you so much. On this thank purple you. pillow. Hi. There you are. Now, I, I made a mistake. I said love at first sight, because I, yes, you know, I was like, oh. but I was thinking it's first flight. <laughs> it's love at first flight. Yes, love at first flight. Oh, my God. What? How? First of all, <laughs> did you no say lies. yes to this? But what is your, okay, so explain to us what your dating history has been yes. like. Yes, okay, so I'm 31 years old. Okay. Um, I take dating very seriously. Mm -hmm. um, trying to date with a purpose. So I've yeah. only been in three significant uh, dating relationships. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Casting reached out to me through Instagram, you know, social uh -huh. media through Instagram, and I took a look at it, and I'm like, it's season one. Mm -hmm. It might not even happen. Why not? You know, right. on a whim, and here we are today. Show here is done, are. completed, and wow. Yeah. Fun, what, fun, fun. What was the process of being chosen for Love at First Yeah. Fight? Um, so I guess Casting reached out. We go to L.A. We have to meet with therapists, mm -hmm. a personality test, really mm -hmm. extensive. I mean, two or three hours of trying to find out who you are, and we would have to go through therapy, and we met with a psychologist, and they go through pretty much every part of your life. Mm -hmm. Do they tap determine. into your childhood? Too? They do. I mean, they ask a bunch of questions. So as long as you're honest, they have they have to go off what you've given them. Okay, so yeah. let's get a little bit deeper into the process mm -hmm. of how they actually pick yeah. the person for you. Like right. the, the, uh, your maid's name is Michael Stewart. Yes. So how did they know that Michael was going to be the specific person for you? Mm. That's a great question. I never really had a chance to talk to the matchmaker after oh, okay. she put us together. Okay. So I'm not exactly sure how, what qualities about him that we never got that conversation. I just end up and here's Michael, and apparently this is the guy on paper that checks off every every box and so, so what's the premise of the show like what is the yeah. you know the focal point of the, the show? focal point is that if you're traveling with someone you're spending so much time with them at the end in 30 days you should be able to know if you want to continue a relationship and oh, possibly wow. get married in mm -hmm. 30 days in 30 days mm -hmm. okay. well, well, well. Up with that. now i know in 30 days you can pay your light bill yeah you can you do that got 30 days car notes that. and all of that thing. cable but 30 too. days with a man yeah yeah, it's, Ooh, that's it's deep and dangerous. It's, it's very. very dangerous and, yeah. and, and very, yeah, there's a lot going on. Well, you are now the founder of a new business called Single in the City, yes. which definitely promotes well-rounded singles. Tell yes. us a little bit about that. Yes, yeah, so we've been in business for years, mm -hmm. and I just feel it's my duty to help single people become more self-aware. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a lot of dating apps, we've got matchmaking, we've got all these different things going on, and at the end of the day, they come to me and they're like, okay, you're, you're still single, you've still got all these pockets that haven't been touched because mm -hmm. you're not a healthy person, and you're just right. reaching out to all these different outlets. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have events that cultivate healthy dating life with therapists and all sorts of great things just to make singles become more well-rounded and self-aware. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. So is there anything that, you know, throughout this process mm -hmm. that you were like, like, did you have like an aha moment? Like, did you learn anything about yourself? during this? For sure. I, I learned that I can be an incredible team player. It, just mm -hmm. doing the process, I didn't go on the process to find a boyfriend or yeah. to find love. I went with the mindset of, I'm going to have a great friend. I'm a very mm -hmm. personable person. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he's a nice guy. We can make mm -hmm. something shake. Um, but to come out and not know someone, <laughs> <laughs> something can happen. It pop it, right. Something can happen. You know, it's, it really is going to be friends. Mm -hmm. um, so to come out and have met a complete stranger on someone that I've never picked in a lineup and to have such an amazing friendship from that, mm -hmm. I learned that I'm flexible mm -hmm. and that, you know, if you have the right teammate, anything's possible. So, mm -hmm. that's good. So you've traveled a lot, you yeah. know, what's one of your favorite places that you've traveled with Michael? And how did that first trip go? First Seriously. trip, yeah. Okay. First, first trip with Michael was fun. I think we we started off in Harlem, then we went to Nashville. After that, that mm -hmm. was that was traveling with him was fun in general. We're both avid travelers, so we're mm -hmm. like playing, playing, high fives. Okay. We're fun. Um, but my favorite place of all time to this day is Seattle, Washington. I just really? love, mm -hmm. I love Seattle. I just love the weather. Would you move there? I would. I'm mm -hmm. like looking at condos. Like I love Seattle. I really, really fell in love with that city. So. 
So the decision has been made at this yes. point. Yes, yes it has. And do we get to ask and know what was the decision? Yeah, the decision okay. is uh, four couples. We were the one that decided to continue things offset. Oh. Um, but mind you, this was this was quite some time ago. So okay. today we're friends. There's no romantic things happening today. Um, but we're really, really good friends. we got some business things going on. So okay. Good. Quick yeah. question. With all of the therapy you guys went through, the yeah. extensive testing, mm -hmm. and you still end up not with him, yeah. do you feel that it actually worked? Mm -hmm. I do because I went with the mindset of finding a great friend, of, of just being open minded. A friend. Yeah. You're not really going in like, to yeah. find I don't believe, I, your I just, husband. I just don't okay. really believe in that anyway. Okay. I, with my, I mean, it doesn't right. make sense. I mean, you know, it doesn't make, yeah, like 30 days, there's no way. No 30 days, can I see if I want to date you? For sure. I think that's a that's a great, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. But but no, I, I, I can't do a 30 day marriage. I hear you, girl. There is <laughs> people that's together 30 years and still guessing. I, I just yeah. said what I had to say at the table. <laughs> I married a man I knew and I still don't know him. I, it's real. Yeah. Well, so Stephanie, no. we thank you so much for coming thank down you. to the circle. Thank you so much for having me. Yes. Appreciate it. And you can catch Stephanie on Lifetime's Love at First Flight <laughs> on Tuesdays at 10 p.m. Eastern.